We know a thousand men here. Ohio had about 3,700. The whole Union Army. We're at the Jefferson Memorial. There's the kids all ahead of us in the rain gear. It's supposed to be a high of 53 today. It was a high of about 56 yesterday, rain most of the day. There's the Washington Monument back there over the trees. It's starting to rain a little harder. benefit Tom's especially
so dark. Beautiful tree. I know, but it's so dark. And the gardens are beautiful too.
shows every newspaper that's printed, and it's printed in all the different um, languages around the world. And um, you can go in and you can make your own newscasts. They have a small gift shop there. They do have a neat Beatles gift shop, so if you're into Beatles, um, they have that. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take us to go through it. Um, I've allowed an hour, but if it only takes us 45 minutes, then we'll go ahead and leave her. White Georgia Marble, and it was set into 28 separate blocks. Martin Luther King Jr. gave a speech at the Lincoln Memorial in 1963. The designer of the, that, the 19 foot statue of Lincoln was Daniel Chester French. And, and the Lincoln Memorial pattern was after the Greek temple. It was patterned after a Greek temple, and in Gettysburg address is carved in the chair, and he was shot April 14, 1865, and he died April 15, 1865. So what you going to talk about? I'm going to talk about Ford's Theater. John T. Ford was the owner of the theater, and shortly after he got it, it burnt down. And then Lincoln died to the play Our American Cousin. And the theater is the same now as it was when he was shot.
want to talk about the wall. Um, the wall is 493.5 feet long, and there's 58,156 names on the wall, and 2.7 million Vietnam veterans participated in the war, and Maggie Lane was the designer. Okay, the groundbreaking for the wall was March 26, 1982. The statue is a pre-service and dedicated November 11, 1984 to 17 Palmer. 275,000 people donated money to the wall and all the money was donated by the public. Uh, there's 1,400 entries from the wall. Frederick Clark sculpted the statue. Eight women names are on the wall, and there's 148 total panels. <laughs> there's 140 pilings to the base, seven panels on each segment. There's a 125 degree angle, and the lowest point is 8 inches, and the highest point is 10 feet. Top, top of the middle. 
top of the middle. Top of the top of the house. Oh yeah, I see him on top of the house, yeah. Search. Huh. Hey, let's move. Yeah. You can zoom in. Alright, I'm going to take one for me. You
It doesn't count the light that you have here. It feels much heavier, much weightier. That's because this is a transitional style of architecture. We have the pointed arches of the The Vietnam Memorial, there's some of the kids looking at the...
Talking on this, I usually just start it and boring then. We thought we were, it was like this day of our vacation or whatever. This is cute. I know. What was that explosion? I see it. Stop it. All right, cut Mark off. Let's <laughs> let go to the liquor. We're still doing popcorn. You know, this could this could take a long time because we're popping a bag for every. Every room, and times four minutes each bag. John's in control over there, though. His mother would be proud. And these girls are patiently waiting. We're going to be calling back to um, the radio station shortly. And we've even had a visitor. We have company drop in. Well, you know who else might be proud? Mrs. Perky Bile would probably be proud. Show her this video. What? Mrs. Perky Bile would be proud. Boys, won't you take that in the same Oh, no, the whole week class. Well, darn. One more. They won't leave without us. Why well, you can see we're we're packing and leaving. What's that? Not over this close. Not, not over this close, yep. Did you guys all sleep good? Yeah. You all ready for a good day? Fast. You didn't sleep Yeah, fast, I know. I've heard that thing before. I I slept fast. Oh boy. Our beautiful room. Take a picture on the other side. Right uh, uh, the other side is really pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 I mean, the other side's got the big porch on it, and you've got chairs, you just kind of overlook it. Yeah, it is pretty. Uh, yeah. Well, it's out of the people here, actually. Mount Vernon is. Oh, Down to the war. Uh, what river are you guys on? Oh, the pipe boy! What are you guys on top of things this morning? <laughs> Aren't you glad it's nice out here today? Kirk, turn around, boys, and smile. You're on the damage camera. Woo! Wow, look how big and wide it is. Hey, ladies. They are, huh? Good lady. Hi, how was it out here? No, no. Boys and girls from the Molly Community. Yeah. The bottom of the uh, Pioneer Farm. 
And it said 3,000 of the 8,000 acres were under cultivation by 120 slaves at the time. More acres than we would have thought. Quite a bit of woodland. Let's see what they have here. Look at this. Here is a, it says it's a spiky roller. Probably pulled by a horse. And see the chair there. You can see how the fence was laying. There. You see uh, seven fields here don't look like it, but they are seven divisions, I should say. Um, each of those divisions represents on average 100 acres of land. Two fields in weight, and what is cash crop up to 65, 70 to 65. One field of sundries, table fruits, flax, and things of that nature. Um, and two fields gone to battle. He was one of those people who like trying everything new. Like trying to make him new. And so, Out of all the acres that you had planted? Uh, he had planted in wheat. But that wasn't the whole 3,000 acres. No, that was okay. yeah, but he had 4 million farms. How about 800 acres of wheat? 800 acres of wheat. There's 3,000, you're talking about 3,000 acres. Plantable acres. Yeah. 800 to 1,000. Again, 10,000 bushels would be an average year. How much would we get for that? $2,000. The price wasn't very good. Well, it wasn't if you had all the time and the slaves to do it. And the patience with it. <laughs> Virginia, at least. No, no, no. And um, afterwards, they found out, as George Washington found out, um, you can send it over to England, and you expect a profit of X amount of dollars, and you get back 20% of what you expected. His wheat was planted in the fall, and he tried planting it in rows and clumps as an improvement over hand sowing. After sprouting the wheat lay dormant during the winter, it grew rapidly for the first thaw. With harvest in early July, each acre, here's what you wanted to know, each acre yielded 10 to 15 bushels of wheat. This. That was probably pretty good for them. Yeah, at that time, well, and they still had to have a means of gathering it in. And we'll go to the barn and we'll come back. Thank Here's the sundry field he was talking about. Carlson yeah. and his rotation plan. Hey. And they included tobacco, flax, pumpkins, and many vegetables. So what do you suppose that is? What, that is there? Yeah. Yes, there's some, or, some type of berry. Yeah, that's what I would think it would maybe be a berry. Just the bud a little bit. I think they're just sticky. Maybe not. I like how he's outlined his field. Looks like a corn crib. And then a place where they house either the horses or the tools for farming. Hay, corn, straw, anything. No, but like. Well, it looks like they have straw in there now, but like a shed that they keep. Possibly around the circle. I mean, they're not, they can't use the bathroom. Very important. Manure, you feed them a dry diet, you take them a bunch of candy, the rest of it, you know, the flour don't talk about it. Uh, wasn't too light, you have to read it down. Lawn, you can buy it. This farm was finished in 1996. This one here is not the original record. There's the wheat hanging. Wagon. There's the round barn again where the horses tramped on the wheat. Said it would be about 10% of uh, the shaft and wheat down in the bottom, but the rest of it would be the grain. Uh, 
<laughs> the woodpecker in the background going up the uh, path here. Good to
I may be reading names off, that doesn't mean that the first person I call out had a perfect score or anything, because I might have five of them that missed three. And it just comes in order. I couldn't, there isn't any other way except by putting them in order and drawing them out without seeing names and putting them in order that way. So just because the first person called doesn't mean that you got less than that person, necessarily. Does that make sense to anybody? Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right, Kurt. Hey, Kurt. Hey. He cheated. Okay, <laughs> Kurt Wendell. Yeah. You get a choice of whatever you want. Whoa. How much you get that? This sweatshirt. Okay. That means I put the shirt away. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Kurt? <laughs> Did you get it? Oh, oh, how sweet. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to try to buy it for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
have a choice of a pen and a pen. I just thought I'd say a pen or a pen, no. Same. Oh, sure, just take the other one back. I, I or the team. Oh, and Renee. Oh, Schmeckers. 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 She wanted to get smacked with that. Then, for everybody else, I do have, but I'm not going to pass them out yet, a prize, a surprise later on. But I also have. Drum roll, please. Take it away home. A bunch of postcards that I'm going to pass around, and you are on your honor to take one. And yes, chaperones going to take one also. Oh, yeah, but yeah, they're all different kind of things. So whoever did not get a prize right now may have one of these. Okay. Oh, so you can take that. I want to see if I, I might not have, oh I didn't, I didn't grade all of Randy's. Oh yes I did. Randy missed five. Randy. Randy missed two. That's mine. <laughs> Randy missed two. And Randy missed four. Ooh. Randy. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's my dog. <laughs> and he's not for sale. Where are you just take? That's pretty good, man, huh? Yes, yes. No, I was very impressed with you guys. You did listen, you did learn some stuff, and uh I think it's been worthwhile, at least for you guys, what you learned. We are entering into Alexandria. Alexandria is uh, where George Washington's home church was. Robert E. Lee also went to church here. And it's called Christ Church. And when we go by it, I will show that to you. We're also going to be going by a cobblestone street, which was the original cobblestone street what most of the streets looked like at that time. Cobblestones came over from Great Britain on the ship. They would put the cobblestones in the hull of the boat uh, to make sure that it wasn't uh, one-sided. And when they get over here, they would have to unload some of those cobblestones and they had a great big pile. So in order to get rid of the cobblestones, they put them in the streets. And there is only one original uh, street left and we'll point that out to you. Uh, see, if you guys ever come back with your families, or later on, Alexandria is a very, very neat historical town that you would want to take a tour of. They have wonderful tour guides here, and a lot of history went on here. Um, so this is someplace else that when you come back, you can come to. They have neat little shops. Make sure you guys look down the streets. Uh, you'll notice that the houses are townhouses, row houses. They're very small, narrow, uh, but they go back, and they are like three stories high. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to actually see the plaques that are on some of these homes, but uh, a long time ago, the fire department, uh, you had to buy a plaque, uh, be like from the insurance companies, that that would ensure that you would have protection from a fireman. There are little plaques that is on the home, and if your house was on fire and did not have one of those plaques, which meant that you didn't pay for it, then the fire department would not protect the house. They would not put the house out. So you had to buy a plaque to put on the home to ensure that the firemen would put your house out. So just make sure you guys, as we go through Alexandria, you look down the streets.
going to be the capital for the photo.
do that together. What are you are doing? Back to start back here. What? Just walk to it. there to take a picture. Oh.
Japanese true felony of humor. The Brahmin pool was an old water pipe and it was six feet tall.